Hi everyone, my name is TTJ Kepsi Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today our discussion on calculus will be the differentiation of some special functions. We'll look at how special they are. So come with me. So the normal function we know is maybe y equal to maybe 5s exponent 2. So we can see that the variable, the variable is being exponented by a constant. That's the normal thing we know. And we know we can easily differentiate this. So we can say dy by ds is equal to, we said drop the exponent to multiply the coefficient of the variable and subtract one from it. So the differentiation of this is 10x. Now, why do we call them special functions? It becomes special if, let's say, a constant is being exponented this time around. For instance, maybe y equal to 5 exponent x. That's a constant is being exponented by rather a variable. How do we differentiate such things? Okay, that is what we call some special functions. So before this video will end today, I will take you through how to differentiate such special functions. But come with me, before we start to differentiate this, let's learn this logarithm rule that log, log s exponent n base a, log base a s exponent n. We said this can be equal to n log x base a. We are aware of this. We are going to use this concept to differentiate this. And with our knowledge in logarithmic function, the differentiation of logarithmic function, and this rule, we don't have problem. However, if you don't, if you did not watch my video on differentiation of logarithmic function, please check it out on YouTube. You will know the simple way to differentiate logarithmic functions. So before this video, and I will take you to how to differentiate this special function that has functions of this nature and remember i said we will use this rule and the differentiation of what logarithmic functions to do that so come with me okay so there is one question on the board i said if y is equal to 5 exponents x find you have the s so please this is not does not mean draw the exponent and subtract one from it no no we don't mean like that how do we do it? We will take the log, the natural log of both sides of this equation. So we say that we take the natural log lean y will be equal to lean 5 exponent x. You get that? Then now, remember the rule. It says that we can drop the exponent. That will be x lean 5. x lean 5. X in five. So how do we differentiate this now? Remember the differentiation of a logarithmic function. We said reciprocate the function and differentiate this to multiply it. So when we differentiate y, we'll get 1. 1 times this will be the same 1 over y. Then because y is a dependent variable, we attach dy over ds to it. Remember the differentiation of implicit function. If you, do, you, don't, you did not watch my videos on the differentiation of implicit function. Check it out. So now, so the differentiation of lean y will be 1 over y dy over ds is equal to. Now this becomes product. It's multiplying. And remember product, we said keep one, differentiate the other. Then keep the one that you did not differentiate, uh, keep the one that you differentiated earlier and differentiate the one that you did not differentiate. So now, we'll keep x and differentiate lean 5. Lean 5 is just a constant. So when we differentiate a constant is 0. Plus. Now what do we keep? Now we keep lean 5 and differentiate x. When we keep lean 5 and differentiate x, we'll get 1. So we leave 5. When we differentiate x, 1. 1 times that will be the same thing. Now let's polish this. We'll get 1 over y. dy over dx is equal to x times 0 is 0. Then this will be lean 5. Now, how do we get our derivative over ds? We multiply both sides by y. So, this by y, this by y. So, 
So, this Y will divide the Y. What is left? Y will divide by DS is equal to Y lean 5. Y lean 5. However, we don't have Y in our initial. We, we shouldn't have Y here. But look at it. Y is equal to 5 exponent X. So, we just replace it. We just replace it. So, in action, our dy over dx will be equal to, in place of y, we put 5 exponent x, then leave 5. Leave 5. So, the differential of this, y equal to 5 exponent x, the differential or the derivative, dy over dx will be 5 exponent x, leave 5. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. We'll solve one more question on this so that we become abreast with it. Okay, so we look at the second question. They say if y is equal to x exponent x, find the over this. Please, this is not difficult. It's very easy. The same thing. What do we do? We say we take lean of both sides. So lean y will be equal to lean x exponent x. What do we do? We drop off the so lean y will be equal to x lean x. Remember, this become product. This become product. When we differentiate lean y, we get 1 over y. Remember, it's a dependent variable. So, dy over ds attach equal to. Now, this becomes product. So, we keep x and differentiate lean x. So, we keep x and differentiate lean x. Remember, it will be 1 over x. Then, plus. Now, we keep lean x and differentiate x. When we differentiate x is 1. 1 times lean x will just be lean x. So, we polish that. We have 1 over y. Divide by dx is equal to c. x can divide x. What is left there? 1 plus lean x. How do we make dy by dx stand alone? We multiply both sides by y. So our dy over dx will just be y bracket 1 plus lean x. Then we replace it. We replace it. So in our shape, we said that our dy over dx will be equal to what is our y? Our y is here x exponent x bracket 1 plus lean x. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. This is not anything in the world. Please play over the video and you'll get a concept. We'll solve one more question so that you'll become convenient with it. So let's look at the next stop. The next stop. They say if y is equal to x exponent sine x, find the over this. <laughs> An interesting one. So with the same thing we are going to do, we take lean on both sides. So our lean y will be equal to lean x exponent sine x. So we drop that. So we have lean y is equal to sine x lean x. Very, very important. So now we differentiate this. It will be 1 over y, right? Then we attach dy over ds to it because it's the dependent variable. Then this become product. So we keep sine x and differentiate lean x. So what we have? When we keep sine x, differentiate lean x, we get 1 over x. Plus, now we keep lean x and differentiate sine x. Remember, when we differentiate sine x, the differentiation of trigonometric functions. Check my videos. When we differentiate sine x, it will be cos x. So cos x lean x. Now we polish this, so we have 1 over y dy by dx is equal to 1 over x sine x then plus cos x lean x. So what do we do? We multiply both sides by y. So our dy over dx will be equal to y bracket 1 over x sine x plus Cos x lean x. Cos x lean x. So now, remember, we know our y. Our y is this. So we replace it. We replace it. Remember, the function we're having is dy by dx is equal to y bracket 1 over x sine x plus cos x lean x. So... Remember, we saw our y is here. Look at it. S exponent sine x is there. So we just replace that. So S exponent sine x. 
sine x bracket 1 over x sine x then plus cos x the next this becomes the derivative of this function of this function I, ho I hope you get that I hope you get that this is very very easy it's very easy so please we'll end it here remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification bell so that if i share a video you'll be the first to receive it until we meet again bye bye